one. Doo, 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 ding. I think it's the Cape Ex Rum, and I think it's Thursday, and I think that Sam and Michael and Lara are in the Hangout. Um, let us start with Lara. Lara, how, how are things going with you? All right, thanks. Um, so I'm still having some issues with Met Plus getting the test to pass since I've reset it up. Mm -hmm. um, but going slowly, um, and we, I also had, we just had an inception meeting now with Thomas on Visualizer, mm -hmm. uh, which was quite interesting. Um, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's still a bit, or it feels like it's still a bit up in the air, but uh -huh. I'm just trying to gather all the thoughts down on uh, paper now, and then I will put it out there on Slack to see you who wants to join, when we can Great. meet, and everything like that. Wonderful. Cool, cool, cool. Other than, other than that, all good. Yeah, so you're not blocked by anything? No, not yet, thanks. Great, excellent update, thank you. Lara, let's go to, Michael was in next. Uh, hey, Michael, how's things going with you? Hey, I was at the Visualizer Inception meeting. Uh-huh. Visualizer. And I was talking with Matt, who's here now. Mm hmm that's some troubles he was having on that update. Mm, for what that one? Oh, for the Twitter feature. Yes. So what is the state of the Twitter feature? Is it, it's your testing showing it's not working, it's never tweeting? Uh, well, why don't we take that, let's let's finish the uh, stand up and then we'll, we'll, get, we'll get into that. Uh, I assume nothing other than that is blocking Michael and if that's the case, then while I shut the door, we can go on to Matt. Hey Matt, how are things going with you? Uh, no audio from Matt? Matt, looks like your audio is not working. Uh, I guess you can hear us. Uh, we can see your mouth moving. You're not muted according to this thing. You might want to just uh, do quite command R on the browser and uh, reload. There we go. Uh, yeah, so then update from me. Uh, what is happening? Uh, the Dree push GitHub integration thing is now working. Oh, Matt. Yeah, we still can't hear you for some reason. You may want to restart your browser. Uh, I don't know if you, you, maybe you don't usually use a microphone. Um, yeah, there's this sort of thing of like one, check the microphone. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, I guess that uh, potentially I'm, I'm, I'm unblocked to continue deploying more of local support onto uh, the Dree system, particularly through this GitHub interface. So that's kind of good. Um, I have managed to review. We've got to upgrade to um, Twitter uh, Bootstrap version three. On um, oh, and Matt's back in again. Hello, Matt. Yep, still no audio. So, uh, so rebooting browser, rebooting computer. Uh, I guess also looking at microphone settings before the the more uh, extensive rebooting things going on. I'll, I'll do my report while you're uh, experimenting there. Um, yeah. So uh, I've actually managed to, to we've had we've got a couple of outstanding pull requests from non-premium members, which I obviously don't prioritize as much, but um, as they become longer and longer outstanding, that they need to get dealt with. So I've managed, to, I think I've managed to deal with one of those today that I'm quite pleased with. And I was just take, taking a pass through the local support board in, in preparation for a meeting with the local support client uh, tomorrow, which will be nice. Um, the, yeah, the, the website one, DevOps. Um, yeah, I, I, what I was working with yesterday. Uh, Matt, are you with us now? No, I guess that's audio from Lara. Um, I guess, I think it's that everything. I, I, I now I have a bit of a crazy day now because I've got to go off to my son's school and so we've moved the mob programming tomorrow. Um, the uh, marketing intern is saying that she's uh, happy to do two days a week, um, depending upon you know, the, you know how much, uh, what tasks we give her. So trying to move that forward. We, I guess we sort of need to have a marketing inception. Uh, meeting. She says she's happy to do Hangouts. I think she doesn't yet necessarily understand that she can just click on the link. Um, so anyway, we'll, we'll, she's new. We'll, 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 we're, we're moving along towards uh, getting that started. So yes, uh, I, I just desperately need to make progress on my DevOps conference talk. Um, but to summarize, uh, I think that's our stand up apart from not having been able to hear from, from Matt. Um, Matt, assuming you can hear us, you might want to just deliver your stand-up report in chat. If um, you know, it, it may take time to often take time to debug these audio issues. To go back to Michael's question, which is where are we with the um, 
Twitter YouTube thing is um, it's in my all in my draft blog post from this morning. But quick summary is that uh, the YouTube gem, when it's checking the duration of a video that's currently live streaming, for, for example, we, we are currently in a, uh, a live stream at the moment, and our current video link um, I can paste into our oh, oops chat window here if I can do that correctly. There we go. Um, so what we determined yesterday is that if you the um, the the if you check the YouTube duration for the YouTube link for, while the stream is in progress, it comes back with a duration of zero. Um, and so uh, it's not a good mechanism of testing whether the um, the YouTube thing has gone live or not. And that, that, that was at least our intention. And the, the particular downside is that it means that if you um, are relying upon pings from the Hangout plugin um, to to update, it means that while the, the YouTube stream is actually live, it wouldn't actually um, send out the, uh, it wouldn't actually do any tweets unless you actually finish recording the video and then the gem started reporting the duration to be non-zero and, and so on and so forth. Um, so at the moment, that's, that's what it is on staging. Um, and I've just, I've, in the first instance, I'm not pushing that out. Although what pushing, what, pushing that out, what that would do is it would just mean that, that no YouTube links are, are tweeted as a, apart from the current. What we have is, you know, we have a mixture of YouTube links being tweeted, both um, active ones and inactive ones. Did that make sense, Michael? Yes. Um, how sure are you about your supposed effects? Uh, I'm as sure as it worked in the Rails console when we did it during the live running of a Hangout. Uh -huh. um, Matt so, has reported, oh, go on. After, I'm wondering after, after it's over. Yes. Will it get reported? Like, yeah, we, the, if you look at the, we looked at the, the, the same thing. Like after it's basically that that thing which we've got, which is Hangout live details. Sorry, it's the YouTube live details dot uh, actually started time, whatever it is. That is nil before it started. It's oh. eight the, the the time that it started while it's in the stream, and it and it, and it stay after the stream is finished, and it becomes a normal YouTube video. It continues to be that date. So it is a it appears to be from the live test in the in staging with the actual Hangout and so on. Uh, through the YT gem that appears to be reliable. So I'm just wondering, suppose that someone starts the video uh -huh. and it's like a minute long mm -hmm. and it's in between, maybe this isn't that important. Mm -hmm. Let's say like they record a minute long video mm -hmm. and by the time it pings back, say they stop the video. Right. And they they're in the hangout for another couple minute or so talking. Mm -hmm. Will that ever? And it, it's, it, 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 it certainly will in that case. In in, in the case that it's only uh, like uh, if it's gone live oh. and the thing comes back, I think that the situation is more that if they start the video right, right, right. Yeah. right and then they immediately cut the hangout before the next ping, then the then basically there will not have been a ping of a video that will have an activated um, uh, YouTube, like a, a YouTube, you know, stream started at to date. Right. Um, but I think that's probably reasonable. Okay. Um, Matt, Matt's back. let's check, do an audio check, Matt. Can you hear me now? We can hear you now. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. From Matt. <laughs> Yes, so you were saying you're going to create a Hangout for Twitter, why do you bug? You're unable to record VCRs as your ABI key is not working at all, but that, that you mean for Twitter? For Twitter, and um, unfortunately, the way they're mingled, I I think I need to record, re-record the uh, keys. Uh, I mean, uh, Michael, I know you think I can just stub out the... I, I, would, I would agree with Michael there. I, I would have thought that you don't need to do any VCR recording whatsoever, that you just change, change the... The, the way we've got it at the moment, the simple fix is change the way it called, talks to the whitey gem and change the, um, the stub, and it should just all work. Yeah. No, but there, uh, I don't think it's as easy as you think. I, I got it. Well, well, you might be, right, they might be right, but the best, like, the wonderful thing here is do the simple thing we're suggesting, and if it doesn't work, 
then we, but you know, it well, doesn't, who knows which of it. I'm saying it doesn't work. So oh, um, you've, you've tried that and it's failed for you for some to, reason. Just stub that out, but it re records because there's tests that are called, call the is valid, why is valid video. So it's, it's since I changed that, it's trying to re record Twitter. Because mm. those cu those cucumbers call that mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. check valid procedure. So when I change it, it's right. I I don't. I mean, the, I I hear I hear I hear what you your your hypothesis about what's going wrong. Um, it seems to me that it wasn't as easy to do it. with my model of of how it all works. And so I would say that there's maybe another reason why it's doing the extra recording. And with careful attention, we could probably make the change without triggering another recording. But that sounds like that would be a great thing to take up in a separate. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Michael, are you, are you free to work with Matt on that? Yeah. Cool. Uh, okay. I, I unfortunately have to go and cycle through the rain to my son's school. Um, it's raining very heavily here. But anyway, uh, yeah, anything else going on with you, Matt? Um, no, I think that's it. I'm just working on that. OK, cool. Well, I think that that's our stand-up then. Um, yeah, anything, anything else that we need to address? No. All right. That is that then. I guess I will just, I'm, I'm going to just hang out here for the like, next three minutes um, and just work on this DRE push thing, um, if anybody cares to you know, stick around or, or you know, pop off. But great to see you all. And um, looking forward to seeing all of, hopefully, yeah, all of you tomorrow for the more programming. You're great. Yeah, I'm going to start there. Thanks. Cool. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah. So the interesting thing here, Laura, Michael, you, so now this is this is this. Uh, look, we've got a push build here off um, GitHub, um, and I mean, you click on the details, it gets you through to here. We've had a complete build there, just off Git. So that's nice. Um, but now I've got to work out. What the endpoint is for that? Oh, and the, the the exciting thing is that potentially there might be a paid project for us to build the um, dashboard, um, like for this using React or something. But uh, anyway, we'll see. Um, Tommy did send me the um, other link for like where we would go. I mean, th this will not work at the moment because it's going to require. Um, I think this, yeah, don't, don't, no, right. So the, the the loading point for that should be it's the branch name, and then the application name, and then our organization name on GitHub, and then like this. So this won't have a database set up, but that in principle would be the endpoint. Um, and in order to make it work, what I will need to do is to push more environment variables into um, the dre.yaml file. Um, so I had a session yesterday with Tommy where he was showing me using this black box thing to encrypt the entire YAML file. Um, and I was recommending Doing something more like Travis, where it um, it uh, you know you encrypt, encrypt individual key value pairs. But, uh, Uh, all right. Well, I think that's the end. Uh, no one. I, I had this thing of like one time there was a person who like arrived two minutes before the end, so I like always like to, you know, go for the full duration. Uh, I think it's that. I'll go off to my son's school. Um, yeah, catch up with you guys real soon. Bye for now. Ciao. Bye.